Hey, what's up guys? Today we're making Coquille Saint-Jacques. My French is terrible, but it's also known in the States as Coquille Saint-Jacques. It's a baked sea scallop gratin and creamy mushroom sauce topped with Swiss cheese and it's baked to perfection. And I've got a couple of my own personal touches. It's really gonna take this over the top. Stick around, I'll show you how. All right, let's make Coquille Saint-Jacques. I have these amazing sea scallops. They're incredibly fresh. They're U10s, which means there's 10 to a pound. And I just love this dish. I love scallops in general. I have a nice mix of mushrooms, some shiitakes, which I just love the texture, adds just a little bit of a chewiness to it. And I have these mini portobellos, which I think are gonna be just fantastic. I like to use bacon, so I've got a pound of hickory smoked bacon here. We have some grated Gruyere cheese, some diced shallots, just a little bit of tarragon. It's a pretty simple recipe. Let's get started. I'm going to start by cooking my bacon so I can drain the fat because I don't want the fat in this recipe. I just want nice crispy bacon. And our bacon's looking nice and crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and drain the fat and set it aside for now. After I removed the bacon, I kept this fond in the bottom of the pan and I'm gonna start with about two tablespoons of butter. And add my shallots. Now that the shallots are starting to cook down, we're gonna add our mushrooms. I'm gonna add about a cup of white wine. Now I'm going to add my scallops to this liquid and let them poach just for about two minutes on each side. We don't want them fully cooked. We want them still a little bit undercooked because we're going to bake them. I'm going to pinch just a little touch of sea salt on top. A little crack of pepper on each one. I'm going to go ahead and give them a turn. I'm going to remove the scallops from the pan. Now I'm going to add my crispy bacon to this sauce. I'm going to remove this mixture and strain the liquid into a bowl and reserve it and we'll get started on our cream sauce. I put this liquid into a pan. I'm also going to drain the scallop nectar and the juices from the cooked scallops into it. I'm going to add about a cup of heavy cream. I'm just gonna cook this until the cream reduces. It'll continue to thicken as it cooks. And I'm gonna add just a dash of some cayenne pepper. Our sauce is starting to thicken a bit. Over here on my cutting board, I'm gonna temper one egg yolk. I'm gonna pour just a little bit of this hot mixture into the pan that has the egg yolk. I'm gonna add this egg yolk back into the rest of the sauce. The reason I tempered the egg yolk is because if we added it to the hot liquid, we would have had scrambled eggs. And I'm gonna add this tarragon. You need to be real careful with this because it'll overpower your dish. It's just like dill. If you use too much, that's all you're gonna taste. And there we go, our sauce is ready. So let's go ahead and assemble this dish and get our scallops under the broiler and get this dish put together. So there it is, Coquille Saint-Jacques. Got a special occasion and want to blow someone's mind? Make this dish. By the way, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'll upload a couple videos a week and you get free entertainment. So I put these on the broiler in the center rack because I didn't want to overcook them. Just let that cheese get nice and brown. They turned out perfectly. Cheers. Wow. 
It's heaven. Those scallops are so smooth and buttery. The bacon and the mushrooms are just fantastic with that melted cheese and that sauce really makes the dish. It is amazing. And that's how that one goes.